Hi. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. This is Doc Martin. In our lesson today, our focus will be on transformer equations. These are equations that we happen to to apply when dealing with an ideal transformer. Right, so now here is actually a diagram denoting a transformer. So now this one is actually the primary coil, that one is the secondary coil. So now this coil has a number of chains that are wound on this side or this arm of the transformer. And then the other side also has some number of turns. So now when determining the number of turns on this coil and the number of turns on that coil, we use this equation. This one is actually an input side of the transformer, which is actually this coil is connected to an alternating voltage source. And this one is actually connected to, to the load. So this is the output, this is an input. So the voltage that, that is across this one is called the secondary voltage. This one is called the primary voltage. So now secondary voltage is denoted by that symbol. This one here is denoted by that. So P, the, the subscript P, denotes primary and V voltage. Here, secondary voltage. So now, with that background, let's now look at these equations. So now we have secondary voltage on top of uh, primary voltage. We have secondary, secondary tens. Those are the number of tens in the secondary coil. And NP is actually the number of turns in the primary coil. Let's move on to the second equation. This, this, this equation, or these equations are applied when you are resolving power on the secondary coil and power displayed in the primary coil. So now power is actually given by this, say so power is equal to voltage times current. So here, we simply substitute this power on the primary coil by that. That's a primary voltage and current through the primary coil. That one is voltage through the secondary coil. That one is current through the secondary coil. So now, those are actually the equations that we apply when we deal with transformers. Let's look at an example and see how we can apply those equations. So, say so number one. Examples. Say calculate. The number of turns on the secondary coil of a step down transform which could enable a 12 volts bulb to be used with a 240 volts AC supply. If, if there are 480 turns in the primary coil.
Okay, so now for you to solve any problem that has to do with uh, physics, first and foremost, always draw out data from what we have been given. Okay, so here's the problem. They say calculate the number of turns on the secondary coil. So we can say the number of turns in the secondary coil is not known. Of a step down transform. So we know when you're dealing with a step down transformer, there'll be fewer turns as compared to those turns which are in the primary coil. And the same, which could enable a 12 volts, 12 volts bulb to be used with a 240 AC supply. So now, since this is the AC supply, we know that that is primary voltage. So we can say primary voltage is equal to 240 volts. And then at the far end here, that's where you connect a load or an appliance, which is about, and what's the voltage across the bulb? That's 12 volts. So voltage secondary is equal to 12 volts. What else have we been given here? The same. If supply if there are 400 turns in the primary coil. So, say number of turns in the primary coil is equal to 480. So, we have all that data between this equation and those equations. Which one are we going to apply? So, it's quite clear we are going to apply an equation which has turns in it. This one here. So we write the equation Vs over Vp is equal to Ns over Np. From there, we plug in the value. So Vs is equal to 12 volts. That is secondary voltage is equal to 12 volts. It is equal to here primary voltage has been given as 240. Then number of turns in the secondary coil hasn't been given. That's the one we are resolving. So we say number of turns in the secondary coil over the number of turns in the primary coil, which is 480. So we multiply this by that. We cross multiply here to get rid of the fractions. So it will be 12 times 480 which is equal to 240 times number of things in the second record. So now, when you multiply 12 times uh, 480, 12 times 480, that gives us 5,760. Then 240 times NS will give us 240 NS. Our interest is to find the number of turns in the secondary coil. So we get rid of the 240. We divide both sides. This side and so 240 and 240 cancel out. What we're going to remain with this side is the number of turns in the secondary coil. And then we divide 240 into 5,760. So we cancel out the zeros here. So 224 now into 576 gives us 24. Okay, so therefore, the, num the number of turns in the secondary coil is 24. And I told you with a step down transformer, the number of turns in the secondary coil is actually smaller than the number of turns in the primary coil. So this proves what I just said. That's how we work out this, this one. Let's look at the second example. Now, let's take a look at this second example, which reads, a step-up transformer 
increases the voltage of AC supply from 110 volts to 200 volts. So now arising from what we've been given, we can tell this transformer will have more turns in the, on, on the secondary core because it's a step up transformer. Okay, so now let's collect the data from what we've been given so far. So they're saying it steps up voltage from 110. So this is actually the primary voltage. So you can say VP is equal to 110 volts. And then VS is actually 220 volts. They say the primary core dispenses the power of. So we can say power from the primary core is actually 1.1 kilowatts and the efficiency of the transformer is actually 100%. So when, when the efficiency of a transformer is considered to be 100%, then we know that we are going to make use of the equation power in the primary coil, coil is equal to power in the secondary coil. Okay, so that we move on. The same if the tens in the primary coil are 400, how many tens are in the secondary coil? Okay, so number of tens in the primary coil is actually 400. What's the number of tens in the secondary coil? So now since the question involves the number of tens, you're going to make use of the first equation. And let's do this. We say the voltage in the secondary coil over the voltage across the primary coil equates to the number of turns in the secondary coil over the number of turns on the primary coil. So from here, we can now plug in the values. We say Vs is actually 220. Then Vp is actually 110. Ns, we don't know Ns, but we know Np, which is the number of turns on the primary core, which is 400. So now we have two fractions separated by an equal sign, so what we need to do is we cross multiply. So we're going to multiply 400 by 220. So that will be 220 times 400, which is equal to 110 times 110 NS. So now from here, we find 220 times 400. So that gives us 88,000, which is equal to 110 NS. Our interest is to know NS, so we get rid of this. We say 110, 110 there, this one and that one out. There, the number of tens in the in the secondary coil then is equal to when you divide these in there, 11 into 88, that's actually eight. 11 into 88, that's eight. 11 into zero, zero, that's uh, zero, zero. So the number of turns on the secondary coil are 800 as compared to the number of turns on the primary coil. Let's move on to number two, which is B. Let's say the number of turns in the secondary coil is equal to 800. So what is B saying? B saying how much current flows in each coil. So we're making use of this equation. So we say VP, Current P is equal to Vs, current S. And so now from here, we simply plug in the values. So voltage primary, voltage across the primary coil is 110. Multiplied by, or oh, before we even do so much, let's do this. Uh, <clears throat> we can make use of this one here, it says, Power in the primary coil should equal to power in the secondary coil. 
Now, power in the prime radical has been given as 1.1 kilowatts. So we say 1000 watts give us 1 kilowatt. Okay? How about uh, how, how about 1.1 kilowatt? How many watts make up 1.1? So now we cross multiply and we are going to have 1100. 1.1 times times 1000 that gives us 1100. X times 1 that will be X. Now we're going to say primary power is actually 1100. So we can plug it in there. 1000. 100 is equal to then power this side which is across the secondary coil is given by vs and uh, current s that is secondary current then secondary voltage so 1100 100 is equal to what's the secondary voltage that is 220 times current second because it hasn't been given. So now, we need to get rid of this to 20 so as to find the value of the current through the secondary core. So we divide both sides by 220. So current, the, sec uh, the secondary current or the current through the secondary core is, watch that, that out. How many times does 22 Divide divide into one ten, so that's five amperes. And so therefore, secondary current is equal to five amperes. Well, friends, that's how we go about this these these problems. If you've liked the video, if you've been helped in one in one way or the other, I urge you to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And then turn on the notification bell so that anytime I post a video, you happen to be alerted. Thank you so much for watching. Stay alert.